Small NATO members who dream about attacking Russia should know Article 5 is not effective against tactical nuclear weapons, the deputy head of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, has said. The former Russian president and prime minister was commenting on recent statements by Estonia's top general about preemptive strikes on Russia in the service of NATO objectives. The sillier the state, the greater the arrogance of its individual insane leaders. Medvedev told, people should take into account only one thing. Should Russia use, say, tactical nuclear weapons against a state that allows itself such statements, nothing but a stain will remain. Sure, Article 5 of the Washington Treaty may apply, but the state will no longer exist. Medvedev added, referring to NATO's famous mutual defense provision. Medvedev spoke at the Kapustin Yar missile range in Astrakhan region, the site where the Russian Air Force tests cutting-edge rocket technology. Earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin unveiled changes to Moscow's nuclear doctrine at a meeting of the nation's Security Council with Medvedev in attendance. Widely regarded as a message to the US and its allies, as well as Ukraine, the updated doctrine would allow Russia to deploy its nuclear deterrent in case of a conventional attack by a state that is backed by a nuclear power. The head of the Estonian general staff, Major General Vahua Karus, said last week that new NATO contingency plans for a conflict with Moscow envisioned the Baltic state launching a strike across the border. Our long-range strike capabilities are fully taken into account in NATO plans, and NATO tells us that we have to take care of certain targets in Russia, and that's when they can come to Estonia and take the next steps. Karus told the Estonian state broadcaster ERR, Karus described the new mission as a fundamental change to Estonia's military doctrine, noting that prior to the Ukraine conflict, the US-led bloc expected the Baltic state to hold out for about 10 days before it could get NATO reinforcements. Estonia joined the organization in 2004 and has been one of the most vocal supporters of Ukraine in the conflict with Russia. Military aid to Ukraine in the amount of more than $8 billion allocated by the United States can contribute to serious changes on the front, according to retired colonel of the armed forces of Ukraine, Roman Svitan. In an interview with Yevgenia Kutnova for the YouTube channel Fabrika Novosti, the military expert said that in early October, while the weather is still dry, the armed forces of Ukraine can begin offensive operations in the Zaporizhia direction. The Russians sense that preparations are underway, so they have become more active on this section of the front. They are clearly preparing for resistance or counter-attacks. Sovitan emphasized, the enemy can do the same thing that the Ukrainian army did in August in Kursk. Then the Russians turned around to move towards Sumy and we counter-attacked ahead of the enemy group and dispersed it. As soon as the occupiers see that we are deploying forces and resources in some directions, they will begin to act. The colonel said. This could be Vasilyevka, Erna Goda, Pologi, Skadovsk. There are many directions along the Zaporizhia front. Ukraine's first counter-offensive against Russia in September 2022 was extremely successful, with Kyiv retaking large swathes of its territory that Moscow had captured early in the conflict. But a second offensive launched by Ukraine in summer 
2023 did not meet expectations, and some experts have said that Kyiv's military may not be ready for another one until next year. British Admiral Tony Radakin, head of the United Kingdom's armed forces, said that Ukraine's counteroffensive would most likely be launched next year, citing Kyiv's military struggles along the front lines with Moscow. Ukraine is struggling in terms of its ammunition and its stockpiles, and it is imperative for the rest of the world to respond to that, Radakin said at the event hosted by British think tank Chatham House. At the tactical level, you're seeing some Russian success, gaining relatively small amounts of territory. I think that's a predicament that's likely to last at least for the next few months, he added. And then we will have to see the Ukraine response with a new military leadership there.